Hi everyone, my name is Ava and I'm an American living in the Netherlands and right now it is raining but you won't see very many umbrellas out here in the Netherlands. People just prefer to wear a coat or just deal with it. And that brings me to the topic of today's video, things that are really common in the Netherlands, but not so much across the world. So without further ado, let's get into those things. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is how Dutch people really like sitting outside when they go to a cafe or a restaurant, bar, you name it. Their immediate preference is to skip the indoors and enjoy the outdoors, no matter what the outdoors has to bring. In some cases, that may be good weather, sunny weather. In other cases, it's the winter and it's cold, but it's not raining. So, you know, everyone's like, well, let's take advantage of the fact that it's not raining because I can tell you it rains a lot in the colder months here in the Netherlands. And sometimes even when it rains, Dutch people will sit underneath a tarp outside and enjoy themselves. I don't know what they're enjoying exactly, but they seem to be having a good time. Now, not all Dutch people want to sit outside in the middle of winter or when it's raining. Very many do. You will see that if you come to the Netherlands in the winter or when it's raining, you will see people doing that and that will surprise you. But what I actually had to get used to was that in the summer months, Dutch people actually refuse to sit outside. If you suggest that you go somewhere and sit inside, they will look at you like you have 10 heads. I actually first noticed this when my wife started doing it. My wife is Dutch and we've been together for seven and a half years, a little longer than that. Wow, the time flies. And I didn't know that this wasn't just a her thing until we moved to the Netherlands four years ago. And now that I've experienced a few summers in the Netherlands, I can tell you that it is really a struggle to find spots outside on a terrasje. Sometimes you can go to a place and they will have no spots outside. And then everybody wants to move to another bar or cafe that actually has spots outside. And sometimes that can be quite an endeavor. You have to go bar hopping without actually enjoying any of the bars because well, everyone just insists that they want to sit outside. Whereas I am the American who's like, we can just sit indoors. It's fine. They have nice decor. And that absolutely does not fly with Dutch people. Now, the next weird thing that Dutch people think is absolutely normal is having like a dozen different kinds of insurances. In America, this is not something that people have. People maybe have one or two types of insurance. Maybe they have their health insurance, maybe a car insurance if you have a car, and sure, something for your home. Again, if you're lucky, many people just do without, and it's not great. But here in the Netherlands, people have seemed to take this ability to get insurance to a whole other level. Since moving to the Netherlands, I have discovered types of insurances that I didn't even know existed. Like liability insurance, known as aansprakelijkheidsverzekering in Dutch. Do you like how I just said that so casually? That word used to scare me when I saw it written down when I first moved here. But this is something that everybody has. Everybody here in the Netherlands has liability insurance for the case that everyone mentions where you spill red wine on someone's white carpet. I have never witnessed this happening, but everyone here has liability insurance. And if you don't have it, people are gonna be very upset with you. So if you move to the Netherlands, you have to get liability insurance. Other types of insurances that I didn't know existed that I've heard come up in conversations include funeral insurance, where you have insurance for your funeral. Where do I even begin with funeral insurance? Like how does one find out that it exists? At the same time, it is probably one of the few insurances that you will likely make use of. So you can't really argue with the logic there. But still, as an American, I find it pretty weird to get insurance for funerals. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, hi, hello there. Sorry, just grabbing a snack. Hey, this brings me to the other quirk that I wanted to talk about. That is that if you are Dutch, you probably wanted to say "Eet smaklik Eva" as I stuffed my face with these almonds. Mm. Just hold on a second. I actually have to chew the almond. Mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Here in the Netherlands, if you were to walk outside eating a snack, then I guarantee you there'll be one Dutch person who passes by who will say "Eet smaklik," and that is pretty normal here in the Netherlands. But it is not normal in other places. Now, of course, in the US before eating, we'll say bon appetit or, well, we say bon appetit. I don't know why there's no English version of this. Like, enjoy the food. Here in the Netherlands, while well, Dutch people also do that before dinner, which is more common across cultures. As I said, in America, we say bon appetit, which is French. But here in the Netherlands, even to total strangers on the street, Dutch people will just walk by and say, and just like in the case here, it's usually when your mouth is full of food, so you have to find a way to mm -hmm, awkwardly respond. And that happens to me super often. Like I like to get croissants and I like to eat them right away while I'm walking with my coffee. And inevitably a Dutch person will look at me and go, so now sticking to the food theme a little bit, 
Dutch people like to eat certain things for dinner that I don't think is something that people do worldwide, but they don't seem to know that. So for instance, Dutch people will just have straight up fries, nothing else for dinner, or just pancakes for dinner, and that constitutes a full meal. In America, that is not the case. I know cultures where people don't just eat fries for dinner. Like, where else do we do that besides Belgium, maybe? If you're from a country that does that, let me know in the comments down below. But again, it's not something that one should take for granted, but I think Dutch people do. Because in America, when Dutch people would visit my partner and we would take them out for a typical American brunch, there would of course be a side of home fries, so delicious, along with the brunch, and Dutch people absolutely refuse to eat that. They would be like, potatoes for breakfast? Oh no! Well, Dutch people, potatoes? Just potatoes for dinner, oh no. That is not normal either. That said, I should place a disclaimer here saying that Ava is a total fan of eating just fries or pancakes for dinner. So this is not a complaint, just stating the fact that not everyone does this worldwide. That and that there's nothing wrong with potatoes for breakfast. Now we're gonna continue on the food theme a little bit because apparently Dutch people do some very specific and interesting things with food that I'm gonna tell you about. And that includes having specific foods for specific occasions. And you cannot just take these foods and interchange them with another occasion. No, no, no. Certain occasions go with certain types of food and Dutch people have a whole list of them. Just to name a few, on King's Day you eat tonpus, which is this typically orange thing on King's Day or otherwise pink P pastry. It's like these two, it's like a little sandwich. I'm having a hard time describing it, but it's sort of like two biscuits with some cream in the middle. It's really very good. And while you can eat it throughout the year, it's really something that's associated with King's Day. So when it's King's Day, people go out and buy tonpusa and there's a whole line waiting to get tonpus. So it's very much a thing. Another thing that's a thing is that on New Year's Eve, people eat olibola, which are these beignets, and they're also very good. All of these things are very good. I just wish I could eat them year round. Like olibola, you can't get them year round. There's something that you can get in the fall and the winter, but it's really a New Year's Eve thing. So after New Year's Eve, the oliball stands will disappear, but before New Year's Eve, they show up and you'll hear Dutch people complaining about how, oh my God, these olibola stands, they start showing up in August now. Oh my God, how terrible. Whereas I, for one, am very happy about that because I just love olibola. Here in the Netherlands, also when a child is born, you eat something called beschuit and muisjes. Beschuit is a biscuit and muisjes are little confetti treats that go on top of the beschuit, the biscuit. And you serve it when people come over to visit when you've just had a kid. And typically it's been blue for boys, pink for girls. But now, of course, people try to mix them or use different colors. You can also still use the blue and pink. It's up to you. But this typical treat is associated with a baby being born. So if you go over to someone's house when they've just had a child, you can fully expect to be treated with a beschuit met meshes. Now, we don't do this in America, obviously, because we don't have the time. You're probably most likely going back to work because you're not entitled to any leave. So there's that. Now, moving on from food to drinks, Dutch people love tea. I feel like you go over to someone's place, they'll offer you coffee or tea. And after a certain point, people are just drinking lots and lots of tea. I cannot keep up because I just cannot consume the amount of fluids Dutch people can apparently consume, whether it be alcohol or whether it's tea. They will drink pots and pots of tea at night. And the interesting thing, because they drink so much tea and Dutch people do not want to be spending all that money on tea, is that they will take one tiny tea bag and then serve six people tea with that one tiny tea bag. And I've literally seen Dutch people go whoop, 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 and dipping that tea bag into various cups of tea. When I saw that happening for the first time, I was literally shocked. And I told the person doing this, like, I'm so sorry. Can I just get another tea bag? Because I was horrified. It's like, I'm not going to just drink hot water. I'm <laughs> expecting a full body tea here. But oh no, not Dutch people. They're used to their very weak hot water. I don't even know. And if they're alone when they don't have guests, Dutch people will do the same thing. They'll take the same tea bag and go dip, 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 and then put it aside. And then they'll reuse that tea bag throughout the day. So really they're having one cup of tea with a lot of water, which I guess is really healthy for you. Now this next thing that Dutch people do drives me absolutely nuts. And that is that they love opening their windows in the middle of winter. And what's more, they also sleep with their windows open at night. This is pretty common. I can't speak for everybody, but very many Dutch people do this. I've even heard this come up in conversations when I complain and protest when my wife, who is Dutch, goes and opens up the windows in our house. Now, 
Since I have gotten to know my wife and since moving to the Netherlands, I do this more. This is definitely a habit that I've acquired, but I will do this once a day or in extreme cases when, you know, the apartment is a little stuffy or my house now is a little stuffy. Sure, it's some nice to open up the windows sometimes just for a little bit of fresh air. And in the winter, I do that sparingly because we're paying good money for heating. It is not cheap. But my wife, she somehow forgets about the energy prices and really wants to open up those windows. And it's not just her, other Dutch people too, because we've again mentioned this to our friends and they'll be like, yeah, I totally understand. You should absolutely have your window open at night. It's really good for your health. And here I am thinking that is bad for my wallet. No thanks. But also I am just cold and I'm standing there like shivering when my wife is like cooking and she'll open up the door a bit and I'm there like, yes, honey, we're gonna cook some food now. Mm -hmm. It's totally fine. Yes, you're right. The fresh air is good for you. It's pretty funny in our household. Uh, again, this is not a normal thing that people do worldwide. I know other cultures do it as well, but in America, we do not do this. It is cold. We keep the cold outside. We like it warm inside. It's pretty simple. Now, while I'm filming this, it is almost the holiday season. It is the end of November. So the festivities are right around the corner. So I wanted to share this last thing on the list that has to do with the holiday season, and that is Christmas. And here in the Netherlands, you just have two Christmas days. Have I mentioned to you in this video that I love living in the Netherlands yet? Because if you haven't got that from this video or other videos, I love living in the Netherlands. And one of those reasons are the holidays that you get that come with it. And that includes two Christmas days. I love the holiday season. I love Christmas. It's wonderful. And here you just get to have two of them, not one, but two. In America, we have one. And then there's Boxing Day, I think in the UK that we know of, December 26th. In America, we call it December 26th. Here it's second Christmas day. The 25th is first Christmas day. And you get both of those days off. I love it. Okay, but besides the time off, it's actually pretty nice that you have two days to celebrate Christmas because what if you need to be in more than one place over the holidays? You just can in the Netherlands because you have two days to do exactly that, which I think is pretty fantastic. So those are some things that I wanted to share with you today that Dutch people think are totally normal, but are definitely not standard practices around the world. This is by no means an exhaustive list. So if you have anything that I left out, please let me know in the comments down below. As usual, thank you for watching and until next time.